Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Tips with me, Micah Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. I'm going to work with you today to help you understand something about Google Cache, which I'm not sure that a lot of people know about. And that's that sometimes it pulls actual content from the target website when you think you're just visiting the cache. So let's take a look. Now, uh, to visit that, you can just hit cache and osintcurio.us. And that's going to pull up Google's cache copy. It says it. This is Google's cache copy. Yeah. All right. Cool. So we have a cached copy of the page. Unfortunately, the cache that Google has is only for the HTML that makes up the page. It is not for the JavaScript and other pieces like images and other stuff like that. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and F hit F12 to bring up our developer tools. I'm in the Network tab. I'm going to Shift Reload this page. Shift Reload. And what we've got, I'm going to hide the overview. Let's turn on domains. Check this out. So these are the different sites that my browser just reached out to to pull content. Now, if you thought you were just pulling content from Google, you would be wrong. In fact, most of the resources like fonts, PNGs, which are images, JPEGs, style sheets, those are actually coming from the live site. If you want to see this in, at just as Google had in, just in Google's um, in Google's cached, then you add an ampersand strip equals one to the end. When you do that, you see we only have one web request that's out to Google. The web page itself does not look really good. I mean, it's only the text and hyperlinks and things like that that you would see that that would normally make up the page. But it's something. And we've only used Google's cache for this. We can look at another site, archive.org, which also caches sites. Now here, if I bring up osintcurio.us, and let's turn on our developer tools, looking for network. Here we can see that there are a whole bunch of queries. Let's go ahead and pull up one of these. Now we see a bunch of queries, but I'm seeing a lot of archive.orgs in here. Here's the content. And one way we can check out to see if this content is only being pulled from an archive.org site is once this page stops loading to go over here to the filter, type in a minus domain colon, and then the Google browser when I'm using or Firefox will present you with all of these different domains. These are all of the domains that it has seen, made requests to. So here's domain archive.org. If I remove that, then I'm only left with webarchive.org and da -da -da -da, analytics.archive.org. So here we're not reaching out to the actual destination site. The reason why this could be bad is let's say that you're researching a sensitive group or you're re researching a, a hate group or organized crime or, or maybe you're just researching somebody you don't want them to know you're researching. You pull up the Google cache copy of their page. It actually pulls images and other things from their website instead of from Google. Now they know that you're looking at them or they know that somebody is looking at and looking for them. And those requests will be coming from your web browser, not Google. All right. Well, that's the tip I wanted to show you today. We're well under our 10 minutes here. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Michael Hoffman. And I want you to stay OSINT curious.